So if you follow the Call of Duty world at all, you probably know that right around this time is when a lot of speculation starts up for the next title. Though the game has only been out for roughly three to four months around this time and into next month, a lot of people really start to focus on what's next. What else can they look forward to? And that's been dubbed the COD cycle where everybody gets excited for something coming in the next year, it finally launches, everybody's ecstatic about it, but then they get bored and they want something else right around a few months after release. That cycle has been going on for as long as I can remember and having seen this come and go personally in terms of video formats for at least four to five years now that's something in which is very relevant to the situation going on as of lately people are looking forward to the next Treyarch title already and though I personally do not think that World War II is all that bad of a game I think it's actually very enjoyable at least in my sense your opinion could totally differ a lot of people are looking forward to Treyarch because they see Treyarch as the number one developer they are looking forward to the continuation in the Black Ops series, whatever it may be that the reasoning is for people to be excited for Treyarch's next title, they're already looking forward to it. And so, with that said, we end up seeing this maybe hype period of speculation and air quote leaks starting a little bit earlier than that of what is previously the March to April time frame because we're only in the early days of February and we have someone claiming to know a little bit about 2018's title. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what is coming out of this most recent rumor, if it is something you can really bite into and find as credible, or if it's something you should maybe disregard or maybe a little bit of both. But I wanna take a little bit more of an approach that we can end up examining this as a whole, taking a look at the pros and cons and maybe coming out with a more educated guess than just jumping on the hype train immediately. So bearing all that in mind, let's just jump right into it. This rumor comes out of someone named Marcus Sellers, who is a reviewer, editor, and writer for Nintendo Switch Net, Mike Tendo 64 and Nintendo City, which is a bunch of different editorials and sites for a lot of Nintendo information and news alike. He also is an industry insider in the Nintendo world. So what he says might have a little bit more bearing on specific portions of this compared to just say if maybe I claimed it. But at the same point in time, once again, we'll be skeptical of this and explain why I don't bite on this immediately in just a second. But his initial report was that COD 2018 is Black Ops 4 and it's gonna be coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the Switch. It's set to be in modern times and his boots on the ground, and the Switch version will support DLC, HD rumble, and motion controls, with the Switch version also being ported by a company which is familiar with COD games. So that's the initial report that everyone is now jumping on board with, saying Black Ops 4 is 100% confirmed. And once again, this does sound at the surface very nice, and it sounds rather believable. But where, once again, we want to dive deep into this is breaking down each individual portion of this. First and foremost, I'm going to say right off the bat that I think this can go two different ways. I think maybe it does happen. Maybe this is something that is 100% legit, but I think it's better to be critical of things that are just thrown out there this early on in the year and to be a little bit more critical of how we perceive them rather than just jumping on board and creating the sense that if anybody says anything about Black Ops 4, that's going to be the be all end all. That's going to be be confirmed as Black Ops 4 coming. And with that said, of course, Black Ops 4 might actually be coming, but for the sake of playing devil's advocate and to argue a little bit back and forth here with this and give you guys a fair and balanced perception of what you might be seeing here out of this, let's argue this new theory a little bit. The immediate problems that I have here with this new theory and air quote leak is that there's nothing new aside from the mention of DLC within Black Ops 4 coming to the Switch. We already had the theories that we'd end up seeing a modern day shooter because there was something in which they ended up having a job listing over at Treyarch, if I'm not mistaken, in which they talked about having a plethora of knowledge in modern day scenarios in combat alike for a project they were working on, which a lot of people then in turn immediately was like, Black Ops 4 is going to be modern day. That's something that's been around for quite a bit of time now at this point in time. And also the idea that the Switch is going to be supported for this upcoming Treyarch title is just relative common sense. When you take a look at things on a business perspective, which you have to bear in mind that Activision is a business above all else. Their goals are to churn profits, to make as much revenue as possible off of their games that they end up publishing and pushing out. So to be able to look at the market success that the Switch has had in the past year since its launch and to not take advantage of that in some way, shape or form, 
that'd be probably one of the most insane things you'd see in the gaming industry. So to assume that the game will be coming to Switch is a very safe bet because it's going to be another platform that caters to another large base of players that will love to take advantage of Call of Duty on the go or at home, and it's something that will generate even more revenue. So therefore, it's a very common theory, once again, that Switch will be supported for the next Treyarch title. But that said, the only thing that is new, once again, is the mention of DLC being supported for this Treyarch title on the Switch. Which again, if we're playing Devil's Advocate and we're trying to argue this back and forth, that's easy to fabricate. Let's take a scenario, say next year I want to be the first one to air quote leak something. If I say that Modern Warfare 4 is going to be happening and people already thought that it would be happening because, well, where else can Infinity Ward go aside from being extremely daring and maybe risking another flop in the eyes of the community like Ghosts and Infinite Warfare were, if you want to play it safe, you want to go back and tie in with the Modern Warfare series as is. So if that happens, I could easily say that it's going to be a Modern Warfare 4 with the Switch support in 2019 if things are already and still going well for the Switch on that console. That's again something that can be commonly deduced, something that is a very common theory, but to spice it up a little bit and not just regurgitate what everybody else was saying, I'd say that Switch DLC would be confirmed as well because that makes it a little bit more believable. You have something that not everybody else has the common knowledge and access to, so therefore it kind of adds a little bit more of a spice to this little air quote leak that you may have once again fabricated. I'm not saying that this is fabricated, but I'm just saying it's a little bit too convenient to me that we've already heard all this stuff before and the only thing that we have new is the mention of Switch DLC. But once again, for argument's sake, I'm saying that. Maybe it is in fact true, maybe Black Ops 4 does come, maybe this guy is 100% right. But right now, I also think that it might be a little bit too early in the year. Once again, our leaks at the very earliest I think we've seen was a little bit of the March timeframe. February stuff doesn't really ever happen all that much. Some developers sometimes tweet out some sort of hints here and there, but they're very vague and nothing that you can really deduce as the next title for whatever game they're working on. So with it being this early in the year, I'd be intrigued to see if this actually holds up. Now again, also one thing to mention is that Treyarch really hasn't made any mention of a Black Ops 4 previously, and if I'm not mistaken once again, there were things that were contrary to this belief of a Black Ops 4, that they wanted to make it a trilogy, they wanted to end on Black Ops 3, and sort of complete the narrative there. But going over to the other side of the spectrum, this is where we can maybe say, well, maybe this is legit. This is where we can examine it for a sense that maybe it does actually happen. And really, I think the easiest way to put it is that of what we ended up already talking about. The things that we looked at as cons as being only sort of the leak is only regurgitating stuff that we already knew of or that makes sense in a logical standpoint. Because once again, well, the Switch is unbelievably popular right now, and it'd be stupid not to capitalize on something this popular in the gaming industry and to be able to once again open up to a brand new market of handheld gamers, people that want to play on the go or they want to dock it and they want to play it what is supposedly going to be 900p, 60fps on this as a standard controller based Call of Duty as well. That's something that once again, it makes sense to open up to this market to create another avenue for revenues to come in as a business and therefore make it across four major platforms rather than just the three that we saw this year with Call of Duty World War II and PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. We'd open that up to the Switch and well, that's a no-brainer once again. Again, also one of the things that would just make logical sense though is that if they do end up making it past a trilogy, Black Ops 4 is an easy out. Sales would be absolutely insane. Black Ops 3 did insane numbers the last two years. Black Ops 2, once again, was still a fantastic title. Black Ops, the original, was insane back in the day as well. So the Black Ops name is something that can just be a driving force in sales as is. So you really wouldn't have to do much with it to begin with. You just pretty much have to build a game that people would enjoy and the name would do the rest. But also, one thing that really might help secure this is that we've seen some crossovers between Nintendo and Activision in recent years, Skylanders being one that is absolutely massive. That was, I think, the first collaborative project between the two companies since Black Ops 2 on Wii U, which though that was kind of a flop in and of itself, Skylanders once again proved massive, and with the Switch being something so big and Call of Duty on the uprise once again, this could be something that makes its way into fruition. So like I said many times now, 
already. I'm not saying that it won't happen, but I'm extremely skeptical of this sort of leak that ended up coming out. Maybe once again, all things do point in there and it's just something that goes along the lines of common sense and logic that we end up seeing a Black Ops 4 and these things once again, take advantage of the routes of say the Switch and DLC being supported on that as well. But right now, I just think it's a little bit too early to jump on board and say this is 100% confirmed. And for the reasons that once again, we already mentioned that it's really not anything new that's being brought to the table. And it could be just some common knowledge and some common thoughts that we end up seeing it happen. But I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback here down there on all of this, because this is once again, something that is absolutely massive and would have massive implications for the franchise and moving forward within the next year. Treyarch's title is something that I'm definitely no doubt looking forward to, but it is going to be interesting to see how this all unfolds and how it all plays out over the next couple of weeks to months. And of course, up until the full official reveal and launch of a trailer that ends up happening to confirm or deny anything that we have in the speculation mill at the moment. So love to get your thoughts and feedback. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be a Black Ops 4? Do you think it will be something that happens on the Switch? Do you think it's going to be something different entirely? Love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty, anything regarding World War II, best tips, tricks, class setups, news, information, leaks, and of course, other stuff moving forward into the future regarding what may be a Black Ops 4 or Treyarch's next title coming up later this year. We'll have you covered with everything you need to know about all that. So if you guys are interested in any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.